हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विथ इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल्स लेट्स डिस्कस सम बेसिक थिंग्स अ सिस्टम दैट सेंड्स डेटा टू द डेटा वाया नेटवर्क इज कॉल्ड सेंडर एंड सिस्टम दैट रिसीव दैट पर्टिक्युलर डेटा फ्रॉम नेटवर्क इज कॉल्ड रिसीवर so a message uh, message which divided into a uh, fragments and sends via network is called data packets so now let's start what is internet protocol so uh, in general what is protocol protocol is a set of instructions or rules uh, to conduct something for example to uh, for example to run a government uh, there are the say, uh, set of rules and regulations likewise internet protocols are a set of rules that govern the communication and exchange of data over the network here uh, internet protocols uh, manages all the configurations of uh, uh, data transmissions Uh, so both the sender and receiver should follow the same protocol in order to communicate the data means if sender using abc internet protocol then receiver should also use the abc uh, abc uh, internet protocol only then uh, internet protocol uh, manages all the data transmission via uh, uh, which occur uh, in a network then how the uh, uh, internet protocols work so in each internet protocol defines the rules for how its data packets must be organized in a specific ways according to the protocols the network supports so uh, uh, as we discussed earlier data packets are the fragments of data which we are going to send and receivers receive so the uh, uh, how many uh, fragments uh, 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 how uh, uh, we divide that uh, data in a, how many fragments are decided by the internet protocol which packet will uh, send when it is also decided by internet protocol so next is types of internet protocols there are numerous types of internet protocols these are the some common internet protocols first is tcp ip smtp pop3 http and https which we uh, we are going to uh, study in detail first one is tcp ip protocol tcp ip stands for transmission control protocol uh, uh, or internet protocol tcp uh, tcp specifies how data is exchanged over the internet and how it should be broken into packets here is the example uh, you can see message is divided into five packets means uh, here uh, message will uh, data is transfer in a five packets and it is deci uh, who decides this tcp ip protocol in uh, and also the in which order uh, the packets will uh, transmit from the sender to receiver also decided by tcp ip protocol it is the most popular uh, pro internet protocol used uh, over the network to transmit data then next protocol is smtp protocol smtp stands for simple Ma mail transfer protocol this protocol are important for sending and distributing outgoing emails means this S smtp protocols are all related to the mail uh, mail here the uh, smtp uses the header of the uh, email to get email id of the receiver and then put that email to the outgoing list and as soon as this mail uh, uh, is transferred to receive uh, receiver smtp removes that uh, mail from the mail, uh, outgoing list 
so it is uh, if you want to uh, transfer mail from sender to receiver you should uh, you should uh, system use smtp protocol then next protocol is pop3 protocol which is uh, stands for post office protocol 3 This protocol helps us to retrieve and manage emails from mailbox on the receiver's mail server to the receiver's computer. Here, uh, consider the example of uh, 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 consider the example. Suppose your friend sends a letter to uh, to you. Then first, uh, where this letter goes? it goes to post office right uh, where you store the uh, where your letter is stored in the uh, post office then after uh, from there post office uh, postman collect your uh, uh, col uh, will collect your letter and sends that particular letter to uh, to your home means he will come and uh, bring your letter and sends to you uh, uh, sends to you here uh, Um, receiver's mail server is the post office and receiver computer is the your home and pop3 act as a postman between your receiver mail server and the receiver computers so it uh, use pop3 use uh, use to deliver uh, the mail from receiver server to the receiver's computer then uh next protocol is the http protocol which stands for hypertext transfer protocol this protocol is used to transfer hypertext over the internet and it is defined by ww world wide web for information transfer as as you all know uh, http use uh, when you uh, browsing some uh, when you browse something like uh, whenever you search uh, something you always notice uh, in a search box they, the, there is a http protocol so http protocol used to transfer data between web server to web browser and it use uh, and it use uh, data transfer uh, is in http data transfer is in plain text means there is a no encryption it transfer data in a plain text format that's why it is less secure because we are not providing any uh, security measures to http next protocol is the https https stands for hypertext transfer protocol secure HTTP S is an extension of the hypertext transfer protocol, which is a uh, HTTP. Means uh, it is the extended version of uh, HTTPS. Means here we are providing advanced feature in HTTPS. It is used for secure communication over the computer network with SSL or TLS protocols for encryption and authentication. Here we are providing a secure shell through which uh, we can uh, we are converted our data uh, in a complex code. Means here we are providing uh, data uh, in uh, encryption process. Here we follow the encryption uh, in HTTP. There is an encryption process which convert data in the complex text. That's why. it provides more security and uh, uh, it is the combination of http and secure shell or tls protocol and it uh, it is uh, here also authentication is available which means to uh, access this data there should be uh, a user id and a, a password is required so this is uh, the https protocol uh, that's it for uh, internet protocols thank you